Hello and welcome to this cryptocurrency technical analysis where I am going to be diving in depth to the Bitcoin chart today. I truly want you to fully understand what I'm explaining. I want you to truly understand the levels and targets that I have for these trades. And honestly, I just really want you to be able to then convert that into actionable trade setups. So without further said or do, I really am looking forward to giving you this video today. I think it's going to be very beneficial and helpful for you. And without further said or do, let's get what you are here for, right? You are here for the most accurate, professional and profitable technical analysis on the web right now. So let's get into what you're here for and let's start with this technical analysis, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get on our levels. As I've always told you, no technical analysis, you're a gambler. How do we go from this realm of gambling to this realm of actual professional technical analysis where we're ready and waiting for levels to take our trades? Well, it's with our TA, right? So let's add on these few key levels that we've had over the past few days. And then I'm going to be moving to explaining what's happening right now. Okay, we can see the stock market is moving down at the moment. This does create this pull down on Bitcoin too. So I'll be explaining that through the course of this video. But let's just remind ourselves how we actually put in this current high, because I did have a few questions. So I'd just like to expand upon it very briefly, just so you can fully understand. Obviously, how we got up to this point, which was around the high currently of around 23,970, it all stemmed from that daily low, right? So if you remember back a few YouTube videos ago, I gave you this target of the daily down here. And you can see how I have an alert set and this higher term time frame resistance of the NPOC at 23,970. Okay, so we knew this was our long opportunity. We knew this was our you know, next big level of resistance untapped with our alert set, right? We can see how that progresses. We did come down and we got that perfect entry off the daily. That NPOC above us is still a very big level to be aware of, okay? And we can see how this really went along in the end. It come down, hit that daily level, gave us the perfect long entry, and price made its way up to that NPOC. You can see here how that NPOC was a level we're ready and aware of, okay? And then we come up and we, we tap it here and we get this large pullback. As I've mentioned, the level was slightly front run. And what happened in the end was we got our pullback, retest of the CC, and then a large decline. Okay, I'm just going to show you some insights and posts that I posted in my group yesterday because I explained it in a lot more detail here. So I can see, I'm just going to read you through this. I had some questions about the third touch setup last night and I agree it was a valid short trade bearish setup. I'm going to explain why this was a short trade. Okay, so picture number one. I was aware of the potential swing failure pattern, of course. And in the end, we did not get that, but we got a failed auction. Okay, so I'm aware of this level above us being a resistance where we could look for that swing fair pattern or, of course, failed auction above that high. At this moment in time, of course, while looking at that, I was sat in zero short positions. I was only in long trades and I wanted new highs to be made. So I have full confidence that we are going to break that high. I'm not shorting early. I'm not shorting at all at this moment in time. I'm in mean, no local shorts. I want to see that high break. Of course, then we did break that high. I got what I wanted. And then we start to get this third touch setup, this bearish setup. And what happened here was, let's zoom into this and explain more. After the failed auction, which is what happens here, this is our failed auction candles above the high into that NPOC back down below. After that failed auction candle, we get a slight pullback. And then at exactly 23, which is when the stock market opens, the stock market opened with a gap to the downside. Okay, And then at 23.14, the stock market closed its gap and then started to pull back. Okay, So it started to drop in price after closing its gap. And the exact same time, Bitcoin is retesting that third touch level into the CC resistance. OK, so then at the same time as the CME has closed its gap 15 minutes into the open and starts to pull back and decline in price, Bitcoin is simultaneously retesting now that third touch setup into the CC and then starts to pull back at the same time, too. So I want to just just wanted to explain that a little bit in more depth so you truly can understand that how this is all played out over the past few days. First of all, very nicely came down into our target box for the long. Okay, from that long position, very, very bullish, 
had clear targets to the upside, clear levels to the upside, and I needed to remain patient for that to play out. There was no need for me to worry and think I was not going to get a new high made. Okay, I've made that bias very clear to everybody. We did get that new high as price came up to the NPOC. Slight front run, failed auction though ended in nevertheless, and the time of execution was at 23.15. Why? Because that's the time when we got the stock market closing its gap and pulling back. And that's when Bitcoin retested the CC here, gave a valid bearish short trade setup of the third touch setup, and then started to pull back too. So they both started to pull back together and they continued into that the next day, as we can see here, large decreases in price. So now these levels are tapped. I'm going to hide them temporarily. And I'm now going to show you what we're looking at now to next for the rest of this week to come. Very big, important week. Tomorrow is going to be a massive day of trading. Make sure you're prepared for the volatility to come. And I'm going to explain now what I personally am looking at. OK, so obviously we've seen these pullbacks. We've recognized that ES has closed its gap to the upside and it's pulling back heavily. Bitcoin is also pulling back heavily, too. They're very correlated assets. I want to show you this post here in particular of yesterday, me telling my team 22,480 is for me the level I'm looking at now. OK, I will let remind you, I had a level of let me just put this back on. I had the level of this NPOC on the uh, weekly. And for me, this was a level where I was very interested in taking a long. Okay, I had my targets here for a long trade in, in, in the first instance. And this is what's perfect about trading the reaction. Okay, so just for an example, what is a reaction? Well, here for an example, we can see here's our level and that's a wick into the level. So you could say this is a reaction. Okay, there was something there that held price back. What is not a reaction is when you have a level and you really simply go straight through it. That is not a reaction. As you will know, I place alerts at levels, okay, just before the level to be alerted when it's getting hit. And then when the alert goes off, I can come to my computer and see, is there a reaction? Yes or no? I do not preset limit orders. So I prefer to have an alert and then see if there's a reaction, yes or no. I'll show you this on the one minute chart, how there was no reaction yesterday. Here was the level that I was ready and waiting for, for a potential long. And in the end, we just go straight through it. And we actually got the back test to the absolute dollar. OK, so we got a really nice back test of the dollar here for another pullback, quite heavy pullback. And then we hit that level once again here for once again, another pullback. OK, in the end, bringing us through that level and to the highs. I want to now show you something very interesting indeed that I think you're going to absolutely love and it's going to help you fully understand what I am currently looking at here in the Bitcoin chart. So that level, of course, for me was a level of great interest for a long, but that was hours before the level was hit. So now let me explain what we're looking at as we get more data. Remember, this was a level of interest for me for a long while we were actually still trading, you know, hours before that level. Upon seeing the new data in the chart, I've given my team, actually now my target is 22,480. I'm not looking to long this NPOC at the moment. My target, very clearly stated, 22,480. Okay, why? Well, we see here the biggest support on the ES is lower. Bearish divergences were start forming on Bitcoin, and they were very big bearish divergences that we were forming yesterday around $23,000. We can see a lot of new longs opening. Look at this, 11 million, 8.2 million. These are increases in open interest. So we're getting every open interest increase there was of, you know, of, of high positive delta. Getting a lot of, you know, longs opening here prior to that NPOC being hit, but they were all building up here, and we got those bearish divergences forming too. And that, in the end, is what led Bitcoin to drop through the point of control. So it dropped straight through that level. As mentioned, we went straight through that level, zero reaction, you know, like butter, straight through the level. It was fine, right? Absolutely fine. There's no reaction. There's no trade. And really simply, I remind my team one more time, the next level for the long opportunity is still this Igor session at 22,480. That is the long opportunity, 22,480, 22,480. As I mentioned to my team yesterday, that's the level I'm looking at. And then before I go to sleep, I remind them, this is still the level we're looking at for the long, 22,480. Let's remain patient for 22,480, 22,480. Well, now let me 
remind you, this in my in my opinion was no longer a long trade opportunity. Why? Because there was simply no reaction. I'll show you one more final time because I want you to just fully understand this, okay? As we see here, there was no reaction. We went straight through the level and we got the back test. And remember, that then is no level and no trade for me anymore. Where was the level that I gave to my team? 22,480. So let me add on 22,480 and show you what happened here. Boom. That was the long trade target and that was then the perfect reaction. This was then a very nice reaction. What is not a reaction, ladies and gentlemen? When we just go straight through the level. What is a reaction? This. That is a very clear wick onto our level with a reaction. This is not a reaction as we actually went straight through the level in the end, even back tested it before coming down to our bigger target, right? You can see how on the bounce, we retested it a few times to the dollar to the dollar, but in the end, making our way through that level overall, right? So let's come back up to the one hour chart and we can now see how we're able to time each of these highs and lows inside of the group. Firstly, that daily level, timing the low, this was then brought us up to the bigger target of 23.970, low, high, and then what gave us our low? It was the target of 22.480 off of the Eagle Sessions, and that was our next long opportunity, waking up to exactly as predicted. I love this video, by the way. I'm not going to be able to play it because of all the all the swearing, and I'm not, you know, I'm going to be a bit cautious. But I will say, if you've not checked out the Twitter, please go over to Twitter and watch this video. And I can honestly tell you, this was absolutely hilarious and made me laugh a lot. <laughs> the voice recorded over it is just, yeah, it's hilarious. If you want to have a good laugh this morning, you can check out that. But it's basically, yeah, waking up smiley faces, 22, 480 target. That was our long trade opportunity. Hours later, that was the reaction. And it was just absolutely wonderful, if I say so. If I say so myself, you know, it was a beautiful reaction. I'll show you something very nice. This was obviously buy bit on the USD pair. Well, now let me show you buy bit on the tether pair, which a lot of people are now trading. I hit to the absolute dollar. You see the low here on the bottom, on the top left, 22,480 was the absolute low. That was our long trade target. So on the tether pair, 22,480 on buy bit hit to the exact dollar. And on the USD pair, which now does have less volume, uh, you know, we, we had the perfect reaction and wick through the level. But yeah, come on, that was that was really nice accuracy and understanding of technical analysis, right? So I hope that has been explained to you really well, and now you understand why we put in this low, why we put in this high, was a front run of our level, failed auction, retest, at the same time we're getting the retests on the CME, on the stock market, they both start to pull back together. And where do they bottom out at currently? It was at our Igor session of 22,480. Very, very nice indeed. And now we're gonna to start to look at what we're looking at next. Okay, so as mentioned, this was our long trade target. That has been hit, right? So this is definitely a valid long trade. I personally am also still in longs, by the way. I think we have a really nice target to the upside. If we can find the, and muster the strength to get up here, of course we might not. Something to be aware of, we could not reach this level. It's just part of trading. But I would nevertheless would like to see it hit. And that gives us a target zone of 23,150. This could be our take profit. And if we flip this into support, of course we still have levels above us, right? This is now no longer a level. It's been hit, but we, if we flip this into support, we still do have these larger levels above us, okay, that we can be trading to. If we though find resistance and reject from here, or if we just put in our high where we are currently, right, and we start to pull back, well then we're gonna have to look towards our next levels to the downside. As mentioned, our next bigger level would be down below the lows for a potential swing failure pattern. And okay, really down to around that 22 zone, 22 zone where we could look for the, just as we failed auction the highs, we could look for the failed auction of the lows, which would be, just so you can visually understand, would be something along that line, right? And if we do not get that reaction and we do not get that level, well, then we start to get into single prints and we could be looking for much lower levels back down at around $21,000, $20,000, okay? Because there isn't a lot of support here. So you just have to be aware. If it's no swing fire pattern or failed auction, bigger support is to the downside. But for now, 
we had a valid long trade setup. I and many others in the group took that long trade setup. Um, and from here, it's just a, a matter of fact of now being a little bit patient, right? So I personally wouldn't take a trade where I am or where price action is right now. I would remain patient for my next level to the upside or alternatively getting stopped out of some longs and, and looking for the next level to the downside. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to understand that as a professional trader that's been doing this over 10 years, coming in every single day to trade the market, I do not miss a day of trade. I've not missed, even when I've been ill, even when I'm on vacation, I've not missed a day of trading in over 10 years, period. I've not missed one. And I'm always on the charts. I'm always looking for me. This is my passion. It's my love. It's my, you could call it um, addiction almost, I suppose. Absolutely. I would say I'm addicted to what I do, but I also love what I do. It's a nice, healthy addiction. I also can make a lot of lot of uh, paper money, right, from what I do. Um, and so for me, it's now just a case of, you know, I've seen this time and time again. I just need to remain patient. For me, I don't have a trade where we are right now at this exact level. Again, I have my next levels to the upside and downside where I'll be looking for the trade. Once again, I want to say reactionary, reactionary trade setups. E.g., if we don't get a reaction, we go straight through. There's no trade. If we get a reaction, well, then I can take my trade setup. Okay. If you want to learn, by the way, about like third touch setups, then this is the new theory that we've got over in our course on the website under our master course, advanced strategies. We've got the third touch setups now. So you've got, you can learn about that. You can learn about the new swing failure pattern 2.0. Okay. So this is an advancement on swing failure patterns. You can learn about how to differentiate between when a level's front run and when it is actually going to be overall hit can learn about those failed auctions, hedging, CT, CCTR strategies, that and a lot more, of course, over on the full course on the website. This is the new way that we're doing. If you want to see more from us today, well, you've got live trading streams. Okay, so you've got a live trading stream going into the stock market open today. You've got live streams every single day. I've got a live stream for you tomorrow. So if you want to educate yourself, if you want to get on live trading streams, if you want to get even the updates with inside the group where I'm telling you my next long opportunities, the exact levels that I'm looking for and how they can get hit to the exact dollar for waking up in beautiful, beautiful smiles and lovely profits. Well, then that's all for the champions over on the website. I think you can all agree this year we've really hit the blocks running. We've really changed our whole persona, so to speak, of our of our way of doing things. We've become a much more professional, tight-knitted community. And, um, you know, I'm really hoping that it, it's visible and you can see it through these videos. Of course, if you want to see my best work and where I put in the most amount of my time, you can get that over in the Discord, which is obtainable, of course, via chartchampions.com. Okay, that's where I'll give my biggest insights, biggest explanations, and the most targets and more real-time sort of updates and levels, right? All over at chartchampions.com for the champions, for the contenders and champions. I'll see you tomorrow in the contenders live stream, right? If you've enjoyed this video and it helps you out, you know what to do. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe, tick the notification bell so you don't miss another video of mine going forwards. And then if you want to see more, once again, you can get that over via our website. I'm just going to wrap it up and I'm going to say thank you ever so much, everybody. <laughs> and I'll catch you in the next one. CC Paul, do not miss. Thank you ever so much. And miss. No, he's.